matter. The stuff dreams are made of. Well, the stuff everything is made of. In the 20th century, physicists made huge advances in understanding what it is and why it behaves the way it does. This led to a theory called the Standard Model. It explains that some subatomic particles, bits even smaller than atoms, are the building blocks of all matter. At the same time, there are other subatomic particles that carry all forces. This explained everything there was to matter. And physics was happy. The end. Just kidding. See, the subatomic particles that carried forces were supposed to be similar to each other. Mathematically speaking, they were expected to have the same mass. But when measured, they didn't. So where did the mass come from? Yeah, no. In 1964, a group of physicists, including one Peter Higgs, proposed that these particles had different masses because there was a field. A Higgs field that pervaded all of space-time and interacted with these particles at varying degrees, instilling in them a trait we recognize as mass. Say what? Think of ads. They are everywhere. Everywhere. Ads, like this Higgs field, extend themselves throughout our entire universe. But we don't all interact with them equally. Your best friend definitely ignores the product placement on their apps while your great uncle checks every single email in his spam folder like twice a day. And to be honest, if you interact, you're slowed down. If you have to watch a 30 second ad before being able to watch the hottest music video out there, that's 30 seconds before you can rock out, man. The Higgs field does the same. It interacts with certain particles and not with others. And those it interacts with, it basically limits their movement. It poses a kind of drag on them that we recognize as mass. After all, if you had half your mass, couldn't you imagine running twice as fast? But you, you skip ads as soon as you can. Any one individual ad doesn't register for long. The particles that carry the interactions of the Higgs field are called Higgs bosons. They are like individual ads, and for a long time cannot be detected because they are individually short-lived as particles. This is a problem. If we've never seen a Higgs boson, how do we know the Higgs field actually exists? Since being predicted in the 60s, it took until 2013 to finally detect a Higgs boson. In fact, it took a team of 10,000 scientists using a machine called a particle accelerator that cost over $4 billion. A mass of investment. Tackling big questions like this pushes us not only to create new and useful technologies, but also to appreciate how intricate and interesting our universe really is. And that is something that matters.